In this video, I need to solve this problem here, and then I need to write the solution in interval notation. Well, what type of problem do I have here? As you can see, there's no equals, it's not an equation, it's an inequality. And what type of inequality? What's the highest degree on any of the x's? It's a 1, so this is a linear inequality. And let's quickly review how to solve linear inequalities. We solve linear inequalities in one variable just like linear equations in one variable, except when you multiply or divide the inequality by a negative number, it reverses the inequality symbol. And if we interchange the two sides of the inequality, that also reverses the inequality symbol. Everything else does not change the inequality symbol. As our inequality has a fraction in it, the first thing we need to do is get rid of the fractions. So what is the least common denominator in this problem? That's very easy. There's only one denominator. It is a 2. So I'm not going to have any restrictions on this problem since there are no x's in the denominator. So I'm going to have to multiply every single term in my inequality by the LCD of 2. So I have 1, 2, 3 terms that I'm going to have to multiply by 2. Since the first term is a fraction, I'm going to multiply it by 2 over 1. So I have 2 over 1 times the quantity 3 minus 5x over 2. Then 3, I'm also going to have to multiply by the LCD, but since 3 is not a fraction, I'm just going to multiply by 2. Is greater than 1. Don't forget, I also have to multiply that 1 by 2. So I have multiplied every single term in this inequality by 2. And notice I didn't change the inequality symbol because 2 is a positive number, so it doesn't change it. So now let's simplify this. The 2s reduce. So I'm going to get 1 times 3 minus 5x over 1. So that's just going to give me 3 minus 5x minus 3 times 2 is 6 is greater than 1 times 2 is 2. So I have like terms on this side, so I can combine them. So I have negative 5x. 3 minus 6 is going to give me minus 3 is greater than 2. So I've only got one lot of x's. I'm going to leave them here. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. And when you add an, or subtract a number to an inequality, it doesn't reverse the inequality symbol. So now I get negative 5x is greater than 2 plus 3 is 5. And now to isolate the x, I have to divide both sides by negative 5. Be careful, I'm dividing by a negative number. And what does dividing by a negative number do to the inequality symbol? It reverses it. So I'm going to get negative 5x over negative 5 is less than 5 divided by negative 5. Dividing by that negative reverse, it, reverse my greater than to a less than. So now I'm going to get x is less than 5 divided by negative 5 is negative 1. So I have solved my inequality. And the last thing we have to do is write the solution in interval notation. The easiest way to do that is to quickly sketch a graph. The only number I'm really interested in is negative 1. x is less than negative 1 means I'm going to shade to the left of negative 1. And since there's no equals here, I put a parenthesis on it. So now what does my interval notation look like? It starts down here at negative infinity and it goes up to negative 1 with a parenthesis on it because I am not including the endpoint. 